Ladies and gentlemen, hello. My name is Eric Levine. I'm sailboat sales manager for Beneteau America. I'm here in beautiful downtown Annapolis, Maryland, and I'd like to welcome you aboard the 2021 Oceanus Yacht 54. So this boat was designed and drawn as a luxury cruiser, but make no mistake, she's a masterpiece of performance. Her hull was designed by Roberto Biscontini, who spent his whole career making monohulls go very, very fast, and this boat is no exception. So we're gonna spend a few minutes together here, and I'm gonna tell you about all the awesome new features that this boat has, uh, some of which are very unique and very innovative, uh, just in the spirit of uh, Beneteau. We'll start with the unbelievable terrace on the sea, which increases the amount of available space on the cockpit by an extraordinary amount. The idea behind this boat was to make it as easy to sail and to use as possible. One of the big challenges when you're cruising is how to retrieve and launch your dinghy. And we thought of that by adding a longitudinal dinghy garage, which is access to the terrace on the sea at the transom of the boat. You can fit an eight foot, two inch inflated dinghy in this uh, longitudinal garage, or a little bit bigger tender if it's deflated. One of my very favorite things about this boat is the helm station. It really just works. As you get behind the wheel, you realize that you can drive this 56 foot boat just standing right here and you're completely out of the way of your guests, of the relaxation areas and all the other important parts of the boat. And yet everything is within reach, including the winches, the throttle and the bow thruster. And all the lines lead aft. So what did they do with this cockpit? Well, they took a concept that works, which is the center cockpit, and they recreated it. They were not still looking to redesign the wheel. What they're doing is they're, they're taking the ideas that work and they're reapplying it to the needs of the modern sailor. What you have here is a completely flush deck, free-flowing access from the transom to the companionway, large tables, an enormous amount of seating, and as much relaxation area as you could possibly want. The tables are retractable and they add a really nice amount of space to what already feels like a huge lounge pad. On either side of the companionway, you get two bonus seats under the Dodger that's a really nice place to hang out when it's raining. Safety was also a key word when designing this cockpit and deck. You'll see that everywhere I go, there's a place to hold on. And underway, as I sit down here when we're sailing, I just love to be sitting here. I got my winches right here, got my high lifelines right here in case I need to walk to the foredeck. I got a hand on the wheel and a perfect sight line down the deck and onto the sails. It's just ideal. Access to the foredeck, super safe, super secure. A couple of gentle steps, wide side decks, place to hold on, and these high lifelines just work. The foredeck might just be one of my favorite, if not my favorite part of the boat. You can really tell that the gentleman who designed this boat, Lorenzo Argento, was working with super yachts before he worked with Beneteau. Just look at these flush tick decks, the wide lounge pads, and these super big hatches that provide excellent ventilation to the master cabin below. This gigantic hatch provides excellent access to the enormous sail locker here below. If you wish, this can also be a skipper cabin with a two meter bed, a toilet, and of course some air conditioning. The super yacht feeling continues below, so let's check it out. A couple of things are immediately obvious to you when you get down inside of this boat. The first one is the attention to light, both direct and indirect. The second is the attention to detail, the blend of colors. And the third is very important, is how gentle sloping and wide and welcoming this companionway is. As you come down the companionway immediately to port, you have this awesome C-shaped galley. The galley is amazing for many different reasons. It works both at the dock, at the mooring ball, or underway. You have a fridge that feels just like home, storage all the way around, and you have great places to hold on to and camp yourself if you're healing. A little further to port is the owner's lounge area, which doubles as a nav desk. It's a great place to hang out, read a book, crash, have a drink, look out the windows, or talk with your guests at the table. To starboard, you have a large C-shaped dinette that can comfortably accommodate up to six guests. You'll also notice that all the switches are conveniently hidden away behind these gorgeous walnut panels. Sitting at this huge table, I really feel like I'm at home. And another thing I really like about this boat is that wherever you are, sitting or standing, you can always see the water. The master stateroom is located at the front of the boat. It's got the largest bed in its class, great access to either side, storage throughout, 
and for convenience, the head and the shower compartments are separated on either side of the boat. The shower happens to be one of the very largest I've ever seen on a sailboat. I'm 6'4", 240 pounds, and look at the amount of room I got in here. When you take a shower on this boat, it's gonna feel just like home. The boat's available in a three cabin, two head, or a three cabin, three head configuration. Whichever you decide to go with, the aft cabins are very voluminous, very spacious, very comfortable, even for longer periods of time. The boat in a couple of words and numbers. So she's 56 feet overall, 16 and a half feet wide. She displaces 36,500 pounds. There are two keel configurations, both cast iron. The first keel is a standard 8.2 feet draft. Uh, the second keel is 6.7 foot draft. There are three engine configurations on this boat. You have an 80 horsepower sail drive, 110 horsepower shaft drive, or an 80 horsepower dock and go. Hatches provide excellent access to all points of the engine, so you can change your filters and take a good look at all the systems as easily as possible. The boat's available with two different masts. They're both aluminum. The, the roller furler main comes with an air draft of 79 feet. The fully battened classic mainsail comes with an air draft of 85 feet and adds a full 33% of sail air. There's a really wide variety of sail plans. The very basic sail plan is a self-packing jib with an in-mast furling main, and you can power that up with a furling Genoa and a traditional fully batten main. The Oceanus Yacht 54 is the latest and greatest addition to the Oceanus Yacht fleet. She's a beautiful luxury cruiser, but she performs just like a race boat and delivers the kind of thrills that we've all come to expect from the Beneteau brand. If you're interested in coming to take a look at her, please contact your local dealer and let's go sailing.